if you have this and you have this, you can build this set. What's up everyone, I'm Stonewall and I am super excited to be sharing with y'all what I have been working on this past week and that is this. That's right, the Friends Modular Alternate Build. Before we get started, I just wanna say that there are instructions available for purchase up on Rebrickable. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Uh, so you can go there and you can see more pictures and uh, detailed description of that on that site. So if you like this set, be sure to check those out so you can build it yourself. I'm guessing if you're a Friends fan, you probably already have these two sets, so why not build it into a building? So if y'all saw either one of my recent reviews on the Central Park or Apartment set, you know that I said that I bought those sets with the intention of trying to build a building out of them. And as you can see, that's what I did. I thought both of those sets were pretty cool, but they just, they weren't quite what I wanted. Like, I'm, I like the Friends, I'm a, somewhat of a fan, and, but I just, I don't know, the TV setup, it was kind of cool, but I guess you just display it on a self where I'm more city minded. So I wanted to build it into a city. So that's kind of what I did, keeping a lot of the same stylings and a lot of the sub models like the furniture and stuff. So tried to jam pack all those uh, details from those sets into this building. And I think it worked out pretty good. And this really is an alt build. All you need is the Friends Central Park set, number 21319. And you need the recent Friends Apartment set, 10292. The only thing you need besides that is a 32 by 32 base plate. And the color doesn't matter on that because it all gets covered up. I got a really old gray one here, but you could use blue, green, whatever. And it should also work with mills or whatever other setup you have for your city. All you really need is a 32 by 32 studded surface for this to be built upon. And it's probably pretty obvious, but as you can see, the first floor is Central Perk, and then you got the uh, Joey and Chandler apartment on the second floor and the Monica and Rachel apartment on the third floor. Each one of those floors is mostly built exclusively from that set. Um, there are some bricks that are going back and forth though. So if you are building this, like most of the first floor can be built from the Central Park. Most of the second floor can be built from the guy's apartment and so on. And this set really is just jam packed full of details. I added bedrooms to the apartments and I just try to include all the original stuff that was in there as well. So I think you're really gonna like it once we take a closer look. On the first floor, we got the Central Perk Coffee Shop. We see Phoebe on the left here playing her guitar, probably singing Smelly Cat. She's standing in front of the iconic window there. There's a nice little orange and blue design there. We got a couple tables and chairs out front. We see Joey eating pizza at one because there's no outside food or drink in the Central Perk, of course. Next up, there's a little bench, and then we see a lamp post holding up the second floor. Uh, that's in universe. It doesn't isn't required to hold up the second floor in real life, but it looks like it is a support for the model. The central perk has those angled front doors along with the red and white awnings on top. Coming around the side, we see there is some stairs that go up to the second floor, which is Joey and Chandler's apartment. It's simple. It's tan with some dark tan accents. These two white stickers here on the windows are the window blind shades that come with the set. Uh, if you don't like those, you can just leave those off unless you've already put them on their windows when you built the set in the first place. But like I said, this floor is kind of simple. There's just a couple little planners, one in front of each window. If we go back over to the stairs, we see that there is a ladder that goes up to the third floor with a little landing there. It looks like someone has dropped a cheesecake there again. And then we see the cat on the ledge there corner of the third floor has that nice angled wall of windows and we can kind of see into one of the bedrooms in there. On the outside, pretty obvious, is the painting of Gladys that Phoebe made. That's mainly just there to add some texture and if you want I made it pretty easy in the instructions to leave that off. If you don't like that look I left one 1x4 masonry brick to replace the snot brick that is holding that on and it looks like this. So as you see, it is just flat there without a, the Gladys painting. I personally think it looks a little better the other way, but it is an easy switch that I allowed for in the instructions, so you can choose whichever one you like better. Otherwise, we see there is a nice planner around the two windows there that looks like has attracted a bird. And then going up to the roof, we see the roof is a simple flat roof with a ledge all the way around. There is a HVAC unit there with a couple of vents coming up. And then we have a spotlight build to help attract people because if you didn't notice below, Phoebe Buffet is playing live at the Central Park tonight. If we come around this side, we see that it looks pretty good. There is a little bit of mix up of colors, but it's pretty solid. We've got the lavender and tan and tan, and then we see 
It's actually one of the rugs there on that bottom wall, but it will be a mural that someone has painted on the side of the building. And then coming around the back, we see that uh, there's a little more mix-up of colors here, and that's why you see Ross on the scaffolding here, because he has decided to start painting the back of the building red. He has a little paintbrush build with a paint tray and paint, and he looks like he's already started and dropped a little bit on the scaffolding. He also has a couple of spotlights there to help him see what he's doing. We also have an abandoned canoe in the alleyway here. Who knows, that might be handy if someone were to steal all your furniture. We also have a table chair and trash can here because this is just around the corner from the back door of the central perk. So the employees probably come out here and maybe smoke or eat on their break. And this is the last side. Like I said, here is that back door from the central perk that we'll see in a second leading to the alley and the stairs and the ladder on the side there. And this is a modular building. So of course the floors come off easily. Take the roof off. Third floor. and the second floor and the ladder comes off too which can make it easier to put it back together so we'll go ahead and look at the floors one by one starting with the first floor but let's take that scaffolding out of the way just so it's a little less distracting so going into the first floor of the central perk we see we have everything we might need we're greeted by a couple of lamp posts as soon as we walk in on the right there is the counter Gunther is there along with a cash register, a cookie jar, and then we see that coffee or espresso machine behind him and the shelves and everything. This is where that back door is that leads to the alley. We see the coffee mugs on the wall still. Got that nice service sign helping anyone that for some reason can't find where the counter is in this small little establishment. Got the coffee menu on the back window and then we got the rug along with all the furniture on the left side there. And then up in this corner, we have the stage along with the keyboard and mic where uh, Phoebe or it looks like Ross is going to play one of his songs right now. And we got the second floor here, which is where Joey and Chandler live. Coming through the front door, you see we have a similar looking kitchen along the wall. Coming around into the main area, we got the rug with the linked recliners on there. And they still recline together, of course. We got one window on that wall. And then on this side, we have the TV unit along with some stools and speakers and then we got a uh, path the dog in the corner there and then coming over here we have one bedroom which that yellow couch apparently is a futon so that is in that bedroom for that bed and then if you're wondering where the second bedroom is uh, they are such big foosball fanatics that they actually tore down the second bedroom wall so they could fit a foosball table in their apartment so I don't know if they share this bedroom or one of them just sleeps in a recliner, but that is what they have done so that they could play their foosball every day. And last but not least, we have Monica and Rachel's apartment on the third floor. You saw that there is kind of a little landing there to go into the front door. Going to the front door, we see Monica at her kitchen with all her appliances. You got a, the stove and the sink there still and the shelving along with the window on the side there. We still have a table and two of the chairs. Looks like Phoebe's dollhouse is still catching on fire. In the main living room area, we have a rug and a lot of the furniture from the original set. Rachel's there reclining. We still have the TV. They're watching sports, go sports. And we see in this little apartment, Monica still has her messy little closet that she keeps hidden from everyone. This apartment does indeed have two bedrooms. We have a small little one here with just a bed and a nightstand. It does have one window, but it is a small unit. And then next to that one, if we pull this angled window back on its hinges, we see it's a lot nicer bedroom. We got a bed and a nightstand and another window in addition to that wall of windows. Rotating that around, we see that we still have the curtains on the windows there. So if you look at the two bedrooms, you can tell one is definitely nicer. I think this one would probably be Monica's and maybe she pays a little more rent, but you can decide that. And like any modular building, it goes back together easy enough, floor by floor. We've got the ground floor, of course. Next, we put the ladder on the top of the stairs. And then the second floor. Followed by the third floor. and the roof. And if we spin this around to the back side, 
we can go ahead and put that scaffolding back on. And there you go, it's all put back together. I forgot to mention that it is set up with the Technic bricks so you can uh, connect it to the modulars on either side. There is only one brick on this side because the plate that is underneath the rug kind of got in the way of the second one. But there is one on that side so you can still connect it on that side. Uh, neither one of the original sets came with Technic pins, so you'll have to provide those, of course, if you want to. Personally, I just let it slide in there loose, but if you want to do that, that option is there for you. And like I said, there is that option to remove Gladys from the third floor if you'd rather have that kind of smooth front of the building look. I personally like Gladys there a little better, but it is also a good option. It looks like she is either blocking the sun or dripping something onto these flowers, so and they have died, so if you want those flowers to come back, maybe you should do that. All right, guys, so there you go. That is my modular alt building of the Friends set. Please let me know what you think of it in the comments. I am personally really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks great in my city, and I'm just really pleased with the set. If you did like the set, once again, the link for the instructions is in the description. It's on Rebrickable. You can go there and find them as well. And if you did like my version, but you don't plan on buying either one of those friends sets and did not want to build it yourself, maybe you don't have a city, I don't know. But if you still want to show some appreciation for my set, go ahead and hit that thumbs up on the video to let me know that you liked it. If you didn't like it, you don't have to hit the thumbs down. Don't worry about that. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today. If you want to keep getting more content like this and other things that are on my channel, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss the next one. Who knows what I might all build next. But yeah, go ahead and hit subscribe and tune in next time. Hope y'all have a great day.